Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker! Um, a little bit of a change to my regularly scheduled um, like programming I guess. Well, regularly scheduled schedule anyway. Because I said I was going to do a cider that I bought myself in my uh, vlog but I've decided to get one of the uh, Spanish Sidras that I bought from Barcelona out of the way first because well... I don't think it's actually a real Sidra, and you'll probably see why when you see the bottle. Um, it's a supermarket bought Sidra, and it's a Carrefour's Sidra Semi Dulce. At least I think that is how you say it anyway. I'm not very good on my Spanish. Um, but I mean, you can see it comes in a very uh, dinky uh, little bottle here. I'm not even sure what the um, size of it is because it doesn't actually say on the bottle. I think it's something like 210 mils, something like that. Um, I know, obviously, there's not going to be a lowdown on this one because I don't have as much information on it, but I do know that you can still get it in, like, I think it was a 750ml bottle I saw as well. I'm pretty sure this probably comes in cans too. I'm not sure. Uh, I got a six-pack of this for €1.99. That is pretty bloody cheap, wouldn't you say? Uh, so... Don't expect many taste sensations from this uh, Sidra. Um, and I'm assuming that semi dolce, as you can see there, uh, probably means it's medium dry in taste, although it could be anything, couldn't it? So uh, with that said, let's go and get this top open and see what I make of it. There we go. Now, even though it's not a real, um, probably going to be a real Sidra, I'm still going to try and do it in the traditional way and uh, just serve it in a little glass like this because Normal Spanish, well, traditional Spanish sidras are normally served by throwing them, in which case you um, hold the bottle up all the way up as far as you can go, the glass as far down as you go, and the guy tips the bottle so that the uh, cider hits the rim of the glass and it makes it froth up a little bit. And because typical Spanish sidras are more sour in their taste, it releases more of the flavours apparently. Uh, what I will say is don't expect me to do that because I, I've i never thrown a cider in my life, but I will try and do it as well as I can do. But um, yeah, don't expect me to like do it like all the way from up here because that is not going to happen. And apparently you're supposed to drink it within like 30 seconds of it being served to you as well. So that just shows you how, uh, you know, cultural and like traditional they like to be, like to keep things. But anyway, uh, what smells are on the bottle? Kind of just smells like a, an apple tizer, pretty much. Uh, very, very sweet smell, that's for sure. Uh, definitely reminds me of, um, like, you know, an apple tizer or a WKD Core. I don't even know if WKD Core still exists. Probably not. I haven't seen it around. I'm not surprised because it tastes like crap. Anyway, let's uh, pour this out. There we go. Let's just uh, get a quick colour thing for you, if I can actually... Do it. There you go. You can see it's, uh, as it's catching the light there, very light golden colour. Light carbonation, as you can see. Um, but yeah, very, very clear. And uh, yeah, yeah, kind of looks alright in the glass. But uh, yeah, that doesn't really mean much at all. So, any more smells on the glass? Let's give it a little swirl. Uh, no, still very, very sweet. Uh, almost like to the point of it being like just overly sugary. Yeah, just smells like a pretty typical cider actually. So, uh, well, let's see how it tastes. Cheers, guys, and uh, well, here's to uh, Carrefour Sidra Semi Dulce. Well, obviously. I've had all five of these before, so I know uh, how it tastes, but obviously you guys didn't. So, it's just very sweet, uh, quite artificial in its tastes, as is to be expected. Um, a slightly dry um, finish to it, but nothing major. Let's get another pour out, shall we? Uh, let's get a second opinion. Well, it's definitely very, very fizzy um, as it's going down your throat because it's just been like disturbed and everything. Um, I would imagine most traditional sidras are actually still. That would probably expl explain a little bit. I, I'm not sure on that, 
Um, hence why this probably isn't a traditional side and I'm actually wasting my time in actually doing this procedure for you. Um, but yeah, it just tastes very, very like bland, generic. Um, yeah, just a, if this was on a British supermarket shelf, it would probably be on there along with the likes of like Strongbow and Bulmers and Magnus and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, but I mean, as a session cider, I mean, six six more bottles like this, you could easily like go down because it is only 4.1% ABV, which I forgot to mention earlier. So, not a strong um, Sidra, although you really didn't expect it anyway. So, yeah, but for what it does, it's, it's all right, I guess. But let's go for a final taste before the final verdict anyway. Cheers. Yeah, I can feel my um, throat clogging up as well, so generally just a, a, you know, a very generic, uninteresting Sidra to be honest, but one that kind of, it tastes alright, and as I said, for a session cider, it, it does the job well, but probably wouldn't actually buy this again if I saw it, because, you know, there are much better tasting Sidras out there, I'm sure. But anyway, for our final verdict, Cara 4 Sidra Semi Dolce is going to get a 4 out of 10. Um, again, if you just want a session cider and you don't care about taste or anything, then this does the job well enough, but for everyone else, then just look elsewhere, because the other two Sidras that I got are probably going to be a lot better than that. So, there we go, another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. Hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. Till then, I'm not going to do another pour, but I will finish off this bottle of uh, Cara 4 Cidra Semi Dolce, because it is only a small one, isn't it? So, take care guys, until next time.